What's the best free AI tool for creating lifelike images, particularly images of food and people? Well, we're going to compare six of the best AI image generation tools to find out. AI generated images are so good now, it's almost impossible to tell what's real anymore. Can you tell which one of these images are AI? They're actually all generated. If you stick around to the end, I'll tell you what tools were used to create them. We tested over 30 AI image generation tools and narrowed the candidates down to six. The main criteria was that the tool must be free and must create landscape images, not just square. Okay, here are the contenders. Free pick using the classic fast model, Desgo using the Flux model, StableDiffusion.com using the Stable Diffusion model, note the extra F in the URL, Tensor.art using the XL model, Bing Image Creator using the DALI model, and Leonardo.ai using the Phoenix model. In the first comparison, the scenario is that I need a thumbnail for a YouTube video titled why do restaurants exist? I think an image of a restaurant chef would be appropriate for the thumbnail. The image generated by FreePick is pretty good, but a counter full of spices isn't really what I had in mind. In the Desgo image, the fork doesn't look quite right, so I don't think this is usable. The Stable Diffusion image is pretty good and definitely a candidate. The Tensor Art image is a bit too blurry and there's a weird thing happening with these plates. The Bing image is good and definitely a candidate. The Leonardo image is also really good. I think my choice though would be the Bing image, mostly because there's a lot of food and multiple chefs indicating a large established restaurant. So this is how the thumbnail would look. After looking at this thumbnail, I realized that it's pretty busy. There's a lot going on and I wouldn't mind adding some text. So I'll try to get a simpler image of a chef with a black background. I'll also try to get the chef standing with their hands on a wood counter. The image generated by FreePick seems weird somehow and not really lifelike, so I don't think this is usable. The Desgo image looks pretty good and could be a candidate, but it's not obvious that he's a chef or in a restaurant. The Stable Diffusion image is not bad, but again, it's not obvious that he's a chef. The chef in the tensor art image does have his hands on the counter, but it's a bit blurry and not really lifelike. The Bing image is not bad, but again, the chef's face isn't really lifelike. The image generated by Leonardo looks amazing. The face and body look lifelike. He's standing with his hands on the counter and the background is completely black, which is what I was hoping for. My choice here is definitely the Leonardo image. After bringing the image into Canva and adding some text, this is how the thumbnail would look on our YouTube channel. For the next comparison, I'm opening a new restaurant and I want to create an image of a hamburger for the menu. I want the menu on our website to look similar to Red Robin's. All of these hamburger images look really good. It's a tough decision, but I think I would go with the Bing image. Using the Red Robin website menu as a mock-up, here's how our burger would look. Next, I want a hamburger with a transparent background that I can add to the actual menu. Again, similar to Red Robin's. Most AI tools don't allow you to create images with a transparent background, but what you can do is specify a white background for the image and then cut it out later. All of these hamburgers look really good. I'm looking for a great looking image, but also one that will look good once the background is removed. I think the Leonardo image will work the best. You can use the background removal tool at freepick.com to make the image transparent. 
Using the Red Robin menu as a mock-up, here's how our transparent burger might look. Next, let's compare how each AI handles a list of specific items. We want the image to include one tomato, three carrots, one onion, a head of lettuce, cheese slices, and a jar of mayonnaise. Even though we specified one tomato, FreePick included 20 tomatoes and didn't include the mayo, onions, or cheese. Desgo did a better job and pretty much got everything right except maybe the head of lettuce. Stable Diffusion included an extra tomato but pretty much got everything correct. Tensor Art pretty much got everything wrong. Bing wasn't too far off although it did add some cucumbers. Leonardo did a great job although it did include three extra carrots and didn't get the cheese slices correct. But in fairness, none of them got the cheese slices correct. Interestingly, none of the AIs got the items exactly correct. I would say that Stable Diffusion was the closest. Next, let's say you're creating a fast food documentary and want to generate an image of a McDonald's restaurant. I think Leonardo would have to win this one. The cars, trees, and clouds are incredible. Next, let's see how well each AI can generate a fast food mascot like Ronald McDonald. I have to admit, some of the portrayals of Ronald are a little creepy. The win definitely goes to Bing though. The outfit, makeup, and hair are right on. Next, let's attempt to create an image of a famous person such as Gordon Ramsay. Is that allowed? Let's find out. FreePick did create the image and it's quite good. The image from Desgo isn't as close but not terrible. I think the stable diffusion image does pass as Gordon Ramsay. This isn't the greatest depiction, but if I was asked who this tensor art image is, I'd have to say Gordon Ramsay. Bing did block the request, which is kind of what I expected from all of them. The Leonardo image looks more like an action hero. To be honest, I'm surprised that any of the AIs would allow me to generate a fake photo of Gordon Ramsay, but they did. The most convincing image has to be FreePick. Next, for our website, I'd like to get a full body shot of a restaurant hostess holding a plate with burger and fries. Ideally, I want the background to be transparent. The free pick image is okay, but there's no fries on the plate, and it's not a full body shot. Desgo didn't seem to understand the request at all. Again, I think Stable Diffusion misinterpreted the request. Tensor Art did create a full body image, but unfortunately the image isn't really usable. Bing created a decent image, but again, not full body. The Leonardo image isn't full body, but it's pretty good. Unfortunately, I didn't get the full body image I was looking for, but of these, the Leonardo image was the best. Using the Red Robin website again as a template, here's how it might look. Next, I want to create a logo for my new restaurant. The Stable Diffusion logo is probably the best, but I don't think I would actually use any of these for my logo. Let's try again. To get a better logo, let's try adding more detail to the prompt. A round logo with a simple burger in the center with the text Jerry's Burgers on a white background. The results are a little better this time. Of these, I think the Leonardo logo is the best. After removing the background, here's how it might look on our website, using the Red Robin website as a template again. 
Next, although we don't have a company car yet, I think it would make our restaurant look more professional if we had an image of one on our website. Um, maybe if we open the restaurant in 1961. This one is pretty good, except that the name is spelt wrong. The idea is that we want a modern wrapped car that's easy to cut out for our website. So I think the stable diffusion image is the best. Using the Red Robin website again, here's how it might look. Create an image of a fancy restaurant with a sign on the wall with the text, Jerry's Burgers. I think Stable Diffusion wins this one. On a restaurant kitchen counter, three jars with labels, pickles, salsa, and olives. The fact that most of the labels were spelled correctly is pretty impressive. AI tools were notoriously bad at spelling, but clearly getting better. I think the win goes to Microsoft. A female McDonald's employee behind a counter serving a Big Mac, fries, and a Coke. Leonardo wins this one. A 1950s woman holding a burger and a Coke in a glass with a speech bubble, I love Jerry's Burgers. Although not lifelike, I would most likely use the Leonardo image. Create an image of soft, gooey chocolate chip cookies. This is a tough decision, but I think I have to go with the stable diffusion image. Create an image of chocolate fudge brownies covered with chocolate sauce. Include nuts and a raspberry on top with a white background. I think Tensor Art gets the win for this one. A man and woman are eating spaghetti in a dark restaurant. The camera is above. Microsoft created the best image here. Steak, vegetables, and potatoes on a white plate. On a table in a busy, elegant restaurant. A fireplace is burning in the background. All of these steak images are really good. It's a tough choice, but I would say Leonardo wins this one. A woman and her husband are making homemade pizza in their kitchen. I would most likely use the Leonardo image. And the last image that we're going to compare, a group of friends are eating pizza in a dark, elegant restaurant. I think Microsoft Bing wins this one. Okay, here are the results of our comparison. Free pick one, Desgo zero, Stable Diffusion five, Tensor Art 1, Bing 6, and Leonardo.ai 9. Leonardo.ai is the clear winner, although Microsoft Bing and Stable Diffusion did very well too, both of which are completely free. Stable Diffusion doesn't even require a login. 
The free version of Leonardo creates incredible images at a decent resolution, but if you do need more images at a higher resolution, you might consider the paid version. It's $12 a month and can be cancelled at any time. You get a lot more images, even higher quality, and about 4K resolution. At the beginning of this video, I said I would share what was used to create these images. The center image was created with Stable Diffusion and the others, Leonardo.ai. The images created by Leonardo are so accurate and lifelike, and the lighting and shadows are so good, you can often overlook minor imperfections like the fact that the girl's shirt is ripped, the boy has six fingers, the mother has six fingers and a ring wrapped around two of them. The girl's thumbs are about two inches too long. And the boy's fingers are badly deformed. Do you have a favorite AI tool for generating images? Let us know in the comments.